Hello guys and welcome to another Profile Tree Wix tutorial video. Today I'll be going through how to add in-page menu anchors on your Wix website. So yeah, we'll go ahead and get started. Okay, so as you can see here on our right side, you can see there's a in-page menu anchor and it goes with the flow of the site. So let's see, if we're on the fourth one, it goes to the fourth dot, the fifth, sixth, and the footer, as you can see. So how do we add that in? Um, this is actually very easy, and luckily it's built in for us. So if we just click on this, we'll go ahead and delete that off, okay? And I'll just go to the Add Elements, now it's just up there, so menu and anchor, or you can also search it up using the search bar. And you can find it for yourself. Okay, so we're gonna click on the in-page navigation. And as you can see, we'll go ahead and click on the in-page menu. Now you get given a list of different options there. So one, you can have the, as you can see, you can have this anchor, or there's a few different designs. The one I went for was this one. So it's as easy as dragging and dropping. Okay, I'll just drag it and drop it here. Okay, now, um, this would be perfect only for one page um, one page websites or if you just want to give it a little bit of um, design for your site it's good to have this uh, in page menu so you can either have it on the right side or the left side just depending on where you want to lay it out okay now as you can see it's got more than what we need so gonna have to delete a section which we'll go ahead and do space that out and then I think we have one more blank section yep we do I'll go ahead and delete that okay so um, see click on this the in page menu and from there you could do like a section layout or you can even uh, edit the design as you can see and when clicked you can change it to white or you can change it to red and if it's just the regular one you can keep it the color. So the color that we have it, we'll change it to color green. That's our area there. And then you can also change it so that it's um, got some text, as you can see. Here we go, we'll try to make this a little bit clearer for you guys to see. So as you can see, it can be like that, or you can have it like this, or that would be more suited to have it on the left side there, as you can see. But you can also change the text on that, have some spacing. But we're just going to go ahead and click on this one, as I do like the look of that design. Go ahead and click on this. So yes, as you can see, I'm happy enough, right? Now, if we go ahead and click on preview, this should show up on our screen. Okay, as you can see. Now, one problem to this is that, as you can see, I have to scroll up to go ahead and click on the in page menu. So, how do I get it so that it scrolls with the site? That's actually very, very easy to do. If we go ahead and click on back to editor. And we scroll down to where we had it. All you have to do is using your trackpad or your mouse, right click, and you'll be given this 
uh, little area here and then if you go all the way to the bottom and click pin to screen and what's great about this is you can actually align it to wherever you want so you can align it here you can have it there you can have it in the middle if you wanted to um, set it to the left side there here on the bottom right on the bottom but we're just going to keep it on the right side there and you can have your offset there as you can see there's a lot of things that you can play about with okay we'll try to go back to that there so we'll bring it there okay so once you've got that all sorted um, you just click on preview okay and now as soon as you scroll with the site the element is pinned to the site as you can see uh, and you can also see it like sort of rolling with the site so there's the header this is the hero section or about us or explore our shop our contact and our footer as you can see so there you go that's just a quick little tutorial on how to add an in page menu anchor to your site so if you guys have any questions at all about it just leave them in the comment section below and yeah i'll see you for the next one thank you very much